in order to dream big, you have to sleep well because you got to be able to take action and implement on those big dreams. And I've been running around CES a lot all day, so I figured why not end on the company that's leading the whole sleep revolution, Sleep Number. Let's go. Okay, I'm at Sleep Number right now, and I'm hanging out with Pete. And Pete, good to see you, buddy. Good How to are see you. you. You're going to tell us all about the future of sleep. And I'm a big fan of getting really good quality rest. But I think you're going to show us how important it is and how much data you can actually get so that you can really make sure that you're getting the best rest possible. No how question sleep about number it. leading the way? How, well, the way? for years now, we've been uh, using our Sleep IQ data, our te yeah. technology, to help people get a better night's sleep. Every single night when someone goes to bed in a sleep number 360 smart bed, we pick up their heart rate, their respiration, how restful, how restless they sleep, how long it took them to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And then in the morning, we tell them how well they did. We give them a report card. And then using our connected data from how many steps they took that day, what was the temperature in their bedroom, we take all of this ecosystem and we have them help connect the dots on what did I do today or how was my bedroom set up tonight that made me sleep so well or maybe not sleep so well. Mm -hmm. So we're helping people make those decisions to improve their sleep and their health. Well, it's, here's the thing. Like, I have a sleep number bed, so full disclosure, I love my sleep number bed, and people wonder all the time, like, Mario, you're on the Today Show, you gotta get up at like four o'clock in the morning to be on air and be ready. It's like, yeah, I need good sleep. So I use my sleep number bed to give me that, and I get data from the bed itself to let me know how I'm doing. What you get every single morning, it gives you a, re a report card on how yep. well you slept on a scale of 100, this was an 83, average heart rate, respiration. What was your sleep number setting last night? How soft or firm was the bed in your support? Over the night, how much restful sleep did you get? How much restless sleep did you get? How long were you in bed? How long did it take you to go to sleep? How close were you to your goal? Meeting your goals and keeping sleep routines are extremely important, and Sleep IQ technology helps you stay on track. Over time, we're gonna take the uh, massive amount of data that we get, four billion different biometric wow. pieces of data every That's single night, That's a lot. hundreds of thousands of sleepers, yeah. and using our advanced um, artificial intelligence and machine language, we're being able to identify trends in people people sleep, wow. which also then translates into health needs. For instance, we might be able to see the out, out, onset of a heart attack and identify someone before you even know about really? it. Really? So that's the future of sleep. The biggest thing that caught my attention too when I was um, sitting in the bed is that it can detect when it knows you're about to start snoring. So all of you have couples that are struggling with snores in your relationship. If it's not that one reason alone, that could be helpful. But that's part of the future of sleep of what you guys are doing here. Pete, thanks so much. Sleep I appreciate well, it. my friend. Thank you. People get better rest, but you can only do it with a sleep number bed. I've been doing too much work. I'm tired. It's time to get some Z's. Good night, people.